This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Let's take this one step further. Can you figure out how to pick the pumpkin? Ooh. Make sure to collect all the corn along the way. Ooh, tricky. So they want us to do this within eight blocks. It looks like a square, so that means that's going to be somewhat the same code, right? I got to get to the end, and each while I'm going to the end, I need to step and look for corn, and then I need to get to the end, get to the end, get to the end. The size is a bit different, but then get to the end, and then turn and take this. So how many? One, two, three, four, five. Well, wait a minute, though. This is like the last one. If we know there's no pumpkins on the course, I want to do something until we're at a pumpkin. So that would work. Now, what am I going to do? I need to get corn along the way. All right, so I want to move forward. And I'm assuming the corn can be clustered because that's what they've been doing. But what if... So if I move forward... I need to know when I'm at the edge here. Wall path ahead. Oh, we have several. If path ahead. Why not this? So before I move forward, I should check that the path is, in the, is there so I don't run off of it. So if path ahead, move forward. Which way would I want to turn if it's not? Right? I'm going to want to turn left. Because that's the only turn. Yep. So if it, there's no path ahead, I should turn left. Um, I should not move forward. I would, like, run off the course. <laughs> so, now, if path ahead, move forward. Once I move forward each block, what do I want to check? I want to check if there's any corn. How many times do I want to pick corn? We don't know, right? We've been doing this more than once. So let's use a wall loop for that. While there is corn. So as long as there's corn there, and that's what's unique about a wall loop, is that we check every time. And it's going to keep going till something is false. As opposed to an if, right? An if normally is just going to check once. If path ahead, true, there's a path ahead. So I run this code. Once it's done running this code, and it skips the else, it doesn't now immediately go back to the top and says, wait, is there still a path ahead? Oh, okay, I'm going to do this code again. We have to put it in a loop to make it do that, okay? So, if path ahead, uh, move forward. Uh, while there is corn, what do we want to do? We want to pick it, right? If I did an if statement here for if there's corn, pick it, I'd pick one ear, and then be done, repeat, and then I'd end up moving on before I got it all. This forces me to keep checking until it's false, until nope, no more corn, then I'd go. And remember, for an if statement, each time I ask this question to the computer, if path ahead, I can only either do this stuff or else. So no, no path ahead. I will only run this line of code, none of that. Yes, there's a path ahead. I would only run this stuff here, not the else statement. Hit the bottom and repeat. Let's try our code. Oh, oh, I forgot the most important part. And then once, repeat until there are pumpkins. Once there's a pumpkin, this loop stops and it drops below and it would run any code we had. Well, I'm at a pumpkin, it's kept repeating, and then I hit a pumpkin, and then I did nothing. Let me pick that pumpkin. Ta-da! Success. Onward.